Hey guys, welcome back to another shower slash hygiene routine. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys all of my favorite products when I'm in the shower, when I get out of the shower for skincare, body care, hair care. We're doing it all today. So, of course, the first thing that I always do when I get in the shower is wet my hair, and I'm gonna be using this shampoo. This has been my go-to for, I would say, like the past month and a half or so. The reason I got this is because I got a Brazilian blowout, so I wanted to get a shampoo and conditioner specifically for a Brazilian, and I didn't wanna spend a lot of money. I've used this brand in the past and I really really like it so I just found this at Target the huge bottles were like five or six dollars a piece which I thought was a steal I have a lot of favorite shampoo and conditioners like I could leave my other favorites down below if you guys are interested but this is just the one that I'm currently using and I really really do like it it smells really good and I feel like my hair is super shiny every single time I use it so I probably wash my hair about every two to three days sometimes less sometimes more it just really depends but I love this stuff. It lathers really well too, which I'm obsessed with. So I use a lot because I got a lot of hair. <laughs> also, fun fact, every single time I film a shower routine, I get water all over the floor. I probably had like 10 towels so that I could try to absorb all the water. And I was freezing cold because I love my water to be super hot. But when I film these videos, my camera will get super foggy. So I had to make the water really cold, but I had to do it for you guys. Anyways, for conditioner, I'm using the same brand as my shampoo. What I like to do with my conditioner is really focus it on the bottom portion of my hair. And yes, I get a lot of knots in my hair. I actually brush my hair a little bit before filming this video. I had gone to the gym and my hair was brushed and everything, but this is what happens. It's just the struggle of having long hair. It gets knotty every single time. So this is one of my favorite deep conditioners. It's from Aussie. It's literally so affordable and it works really well for the price. I also really love the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. You guys have heard me talk about this for forever. It's amazing if you have super, super dry damaged hair. I would say if you have kind of just like average dry hair, go with the Aussie one. But if you want to splurge, the Macadamia one is amazing. I absolutely love it. You can get it at TJ Maxx. Target, CVS. Today I actually just used the Aussie one. I pretty much alternate between the two. Honestly, it just depends on what I'm feeling. They both smell amazing and they're great. So this is a new discovery for me, this body wash. I have been obsessed with it. I literally just got this last week from Walmart, but it's super gentle on my skin and I have pretty sensitive skin on my body and I haven't had any issues with it. It also smells really good, lathers really nicely. I mean, I do use quite a bit, but I just really, really love it. So I'm just using my loofah, which by the way, I do switch out my loofah every three to four weeks because I think that's super important. So I'm just scrubbing away every inch of my body and then I always love using an under scented bar of soap this one is just from dove just to clean away the private areas because that's also super important so while I'm in the shower I always like to cleanse my skin I normally get my showers in the morning after the gym so this is the cleanser that I'm currently using from bio clarity I will leave all the products that I'm using down below if you guys are interested and along with my cleanser I always use my Clarisonic Mia 2 morning and night so then it is time to shave and honestly I hate shaving <laughs> and I don't do it every single day but whenever I do have to do it I love these razors because you don't need any shaving cream they're super gentle on my skin I get razor burn really really easily and I like these because I don't get as much razor burn with these versus with like regular razors and shaving cream and I normally don't shave my arms but I wanted to show you guys just how easy it is and all you have to do is rinse your body with water and then you just shave so if you're on the go or you're in college I think you would love these once you're all done shaving you just rinse off the razor a little bit I always like to do it with a little bit of water I put the cap on it and you're good to go. You can use it a couple more times after that. So then I'm going in with my Dial Antibacterial Soap. I love this for cleaning my piercings. I have my nipples and my belly button pierced, and don't ask me why I have this big bottle. I got it a few months ago and I'm still using it. So I always have to clean my piercings every single time I'm in the shower. It's just like part of my routine, and that soap is my favorite for that. So when I get out of the shower, of course, I continue on with my usual skincare routine. I'm using the Pixi Glow Tonic, which is my favorite toner for glowy skin. I haven't really switched out a lot of my products. If you guys watched my morning routine from a few weeks back, I pretty much am using the same exact skincare products because I really love them and they've been working really well for my skin. 
minus that huge pimple on my forehead. I've been testing out some new oils and I really like this one from Milani. It's the Prep and Brighten Rose Oil. You literally just need two little drops on your entire face. It's really nice. It's a really lightweight and I've heard that you can use this underneath makeup. I personally never have, but it doesn't make my face feel oily, which I really like. So I'll keep you guys posted on it, but so far, so good with this oil and it's like super affordable. It's not as good as like my Drunk Elephant oil, but for the price, I really like it so far. So then of course I'm gonna go in and moisturize my body. I've been using this Everyone Lotion. It literally smells like lavender essential oils, which is such a great scent. Like it's so calming. It makes me feel really relaxed, so I really love it. And on the bottle it says that you can use this on your skin, like on your face, and I personally never have, but Hector has been using it on his skin and he has really sensitive skin and he really likes it for the face. So if you have dry skin, which he has dry skin, I think you'd really like it. So check it out, I got it at Walmart. It's not greasy or anything either, so I like to even put it on my hands and pretty much everywhere. Then for deodorant, I've been using this deodorant for years. It's literally the only one that I use and it's my favorite. If you guys have any other great recommendations, leave them down below in the comments. This one is just, it's so good and it doesn't stain my clothes. It lasts all day. I just love it. So then I have to spray my body with body spray. I lather myself with body spray and perfume because I love smelling good. And these are my three favorite body sprays of all time from Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret. They're amazing. Go get them. Thank me later. And then these are my current favorite perfumes at the moment in case you're interested. And the final thing I have to do when I get out of the shower is tackle on my hair. So the first product I use is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. I love this so much. My spritzer doesn't work by the way, that's why I have to like pour the product onto my hands, but I don't mind because the product is amazing. So I just apply this on the bottom portion of my hair and this just helps with like, first of all it smells really good, but it helps with leaving my hair nice and sleek and shiny and soft. And then I will go in with this detangler. This is a miracle these two products together make it so much easier when I'm brushing my hair out like without these I literally cannot brush my hair out the way that I do it right here like the products make it so easy and I'm just using a wet brush to brush through all the knots in my hair I got the brush from TJ Maxx but you can get them like pretty much anywhere and the wet brush is a lifesaver I just pretty much will do this and spray more detangler spray as I go just to get all the knots out and make my hair super sleek because some knots are worse than others as you can see so yeah this usually will take me like five to ten minutes depending on how bad my hair is but I always like to brush my hair before I get in the shower just because it makes this process when I get out of the shower so much easier so you'll see here also I will spray lots of the detangler spray just because it doesn't make my hair oily and it just smells really good so even once my hair is nice and sleek I'll just keep spraying it because I love it so much and the next day my hair smells amazing so I think I've made my point you guys get it I love these products just go out and get them and then you'll see what I'm talking about and if you guys have any other recommendations for hair care perfumes body sprays hygiene soaps deodorant anything leave it down below in the comments I always love your recommendations and I feel like you guys really know me and you know what I like so leave me your favorites and the final thing I like to do with my hair, well, besides spray, more of the detangling spray, is apply a hair oil. I love using hair oils when I get out of the shower and also when I style my hair just to make everything look really sleek. And this is like my favorite hair oil brand at the drugstore. It works really well. It doesn't weigh my hair down. Don't use too much but I like to use enough just to coat like the ends of my hair to make them nice and sleek. I used to use the spray version of this and then my friend Ashley recommended the like squeezy tube bottle and I love it so much better because sometimes the spritzer would get stuck and the squeezy tube bottle is just so much more convenient. So shout out to her because I love the oil like 10 times more now versus before. So that is it for my full shower routine slash hygiene slash hair care routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down below. Don't don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. I love you guys and I will see you in a few days in my next video. Bye!